In this video, I'm going to focus more on the component within the COE starter kit solution. So what does the COE starter kit solution composes of? The COE starter kit solution for a start will compose of a, a zip file. When you import that zip file as a part of the solution within a Power Platform environment, uh, it will contain tables, it will contain flows, reports, dashboards, data flows, sitemaps, settings, security roles, processes, pages, environment variables, custom connectors, connection references, component libraries, choices, chatbots, and many more. <clears throat> so it, uh, it contains many more than what is being provided within this list. But the main part which you need to focus on is the apps, which is segregated into Canvas apps and model-driven apps, flows, cloud flows, uh, and uh, some sort of table and web resources. Now, the first component is the core component solution. So the, if you see from the screenshot over here, the core component solution, now I'm referring to an August 2023 release, but if you are watching this video in the future, then this might change. Uh, but overall, the core may remain same. So the core components uh, has, if you see over here, it has 13 apps, okay? So which is, uh, which will be the main point of uh, entry for you to configure the solution, okay? Uh, alternatively, you can see the tables, uh, the underlying tables, there are four to six tables, there are six processes, uh, and then there are 96 cloud flows, which act as like a nut and bolt for this particular uh, component to work. Next is a governance component. Governance component has three apps and it has dual cloud flows. And uh, it mainly uses one table for its function. Third component is a nurture component, which has three apps in it and there are 15 tables. So these are uh, mainly for uh, assessment, for uh, uh, setting up newsletter uh, with product details, uh, and uh, <clears throat> setting up some uh, components which will help you for adoption. ALM Accelerator Solution is the uh, next component. Uh, so it contains two apps, basically ALM Accelerator for admin and ALM Accelerator for a maker. Uh, it makes use of eight tables, as you see from the screenshot over here. And uh, all the plumbing work has been done by the cloud flows, which is uh, 25 in number. Next is Innovation Backlog Solution. So uh, it has two apps and uh, it has two cloud flows. 15 tables are being composed of it uh, to uh, make this entire application run. Uh, the next component is the Power Platform Administration Planning Solution. So it makes use of one table, which is basically a table which stores the admin related task. It has one app. Uh, through which you can actually see how the administration work is uh, being listed out there. But in order to populate this table, you may need to make use of some uh, backend data, which is provided using an Excel spreadsheet, which I'm going to cover that in my future videos. Uh, last but not the least, there's an audit log solution. Uh, it does not have any app. It just uh, locks your audit related information in Microsoft 365. Now this particular component is not part of August 2023 release and I think it's being deprecated now. It's not technically deprecated but then this component is being merged into a core solution. So uh, in the set of file you may see this particular solutions missing. Okay. So that's it folks. Uh, that's all about what a solution file contains. Uh, in the CUE starter kit. Thank you.